Hi, and welcome to Indie Learning Music Tutor. Today, uh, we are going to be talking about the Graduated Intervals PDF. Uh, I'm just going to basically run through the exercises. Um, uh, I'll start with the basic broken interval is exercise one. It's not listed on the PDF, but it is listed in so many other places on my site that uh, I feel that that should be sufficient. Um, okay. So broken intervals, basically we're going to do thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, and sevenths. So starting with the B in the C major scale. Now, uh, I'm doing them rubato, but you can, you absolutely can and probably should be doing this with a metronome. Of course, start slow and then work up your pace. Um, so that's thirds. We also have fourths. I got it. It's like walking downhill. Um, we also have fifths. Remember that tritone fifth there on B, on your seventh. And then we have six. Because of the large gap uh, between the note and the interval, um, I'm going to finish it off of here at the 15th fret. Okay, so. Alright, that is our basic interval exercise. Um, after that, we are going to go to alternating intervals, um, the next level of complex uh, complexity. And I did cover this in the Frankenstein exercises, but um, uh, it's this is a good uh, point in which you can really refresh it and take it to the next step. So. So we start we're go let's say we're gonna do thirds and we go
really not perfect at it yet. I'm still doing it Rivato and at very slow tempo. So uh, don't beat yourself up over it. Um, we can see that again with fourths. That one's a lot easier to get your fingers under, uh, get under your fingers rather, and um, uh, it might be better uh, to start with the fourths just to get your fingers, your plucking hand in order with all of the string skipping that we're going to be doing with these exercises. Um, but again, you can do that with fifths. Sixths and sevenths. Um, for brevity's sake, let's not do everything. The next thing that we're going to be working on is pedaling intervals. Um, and what that means is uh, you're going to keep the scale degree, let's say the one, and, um, and then you're going to perpetually change your um, your interval so Um, and again, you can add complexity to this if you want and um, change the note you're pedaling on despite the fact that you're not changing the, the scale that you're in. So, uh, I just did two parts of that uh, uh, PDF in one shot. I did the fifth, but I also did below the fifth. From this point on, um, up until this point, it all really makes sense. It all follows one rule or the other. Either you're going to remain in your interval, or you're going to remain on the note. Whether you're doing it straight or alternating is is irrelevant. Uh, when you do it with pedaling, uh, you can do that too. I'm really not good at alternating pedaling yet. I'm still working on this myself, um, but. At least I can give you some sort of an example of where to start uh, and fly with it. Um, now, what all this builds up to is something called an untethered uh, interval. The untethered interval uh, is basically breaking both of the rules. There is nothing holding you into a particular area. Um, you're not doing only thirds or fourths or fifths or sixths. You're not pedaling off of one note. You are instead completely free, but you're 
uh, locking yourself into an interval progression. Uh, that interval progression, of course, is going to be uh, your two interval, your three interval, your four interval, your five interval, your six interval, your seven interval, your two interval, your three interval, and your four interval. Your five interval and your six interval. I mean, if you want to go up that high. Um, one of the things uh, that doesn't work is doing this backwards. <laughs> um, if you, let's say you go two, three, four, five. Six, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You, you're, you're basically just doing a pedal on the second note um, when you when you do this descending. So it only really works ascending unless you're looking to go from. Uh, increasingly uh, larger intervals to pedaling off of one note and shrinking the interval into that note. Um, uh, so there's that. Um, uh, practice it as you wish and uh, um, please by all means use a metronome. Um, get it under your fingers first uh, then start with a really slow metronome and uh, in no time you will uh, not only have your straight uh, intervals at your command but you'll have all of these variations that you can use to uh, increase your um, variety in your playing. This has been Harry Felker with Indie Learning Music Tutor. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.